Greater Binghamton lost one of its biggest baseball icons back in 2016. Former New York Yankee and Binghamton triplet Steve Crayley died following a courageous battle with cancer. Last year, in a collaboration with a friend, Crayley's life was finally put to paper. News Channel 34's James Atherley takes us inside the pages of his memoir, My Life in Blue. Jim Majori co-wrote My Life in Blue with Crayley. He and the Yankee pitcher would meet every other Thursday at a restaurant in Johnson City for a period of about four to five months. It was there that Majori learned just how important baseball was to Crayley. Every day he would throw a tennis ball against a brick wall and he measured it out 60 feet six inches and measured out the square home plate and he would throw the ball against the wall and then practice fielding it. His dreams would come true when he began his career in the New York Yankee system in 1949. Even though he grew up right outside of Chicago, his family quickly switched from White Sox fans to Yankees fans to cheer for him. His career took a turn though that he wasn't thrilled about. He was assigned to Binghamton instead of Kansas City. It wasn't all bad though. But sure enough, Steve dominated in Binghamton for two months. And after being there in two months and with the team, it was almost like he didn't want to go to Kansas City. He wanted to stay with Binghamton and win a championship. In 1953, at the beginning of August, Crayley finally got the call he had been waiting for. He was going to pitch for the Yankees. What's better than that, he contributed to their fifth straight World Series championship. My dreams were to follow in the footsteps of my dad. Because when I, if I was out and introduced myself as Steve Crowley, immediately, a lot of times it would be, Steve Crowley, was that your father, the Yankee? Unfortunately for the elder Crowley, that was all she wrote for him and the Yankees as he got hurt the next year. From 54 to 55, 56, he was in the Monument Leagues AAA, and, and then when he got hurt, he wound up back in Binghamton in 1956 on a comeback trail. Instead of continuing to work in Major League Baseball, Crowley decided to leave the game that he loved so much and took a job with IBM, a post he would hold for 30 years. Well, the story has a happy ending. Him and my mom get married, and they have four kids. And I tell my siblings, you know, if Dad didn't have arm trouble, we wouldn't be here today. The now former Yankee enjoyed his new job, but left at the chance to be the official scorer for the Binghamton Mets in 1992. Crowley looks back on his father with pride. He proved that you don't need to be uh, big and powerful and this, you know, stellar athlete uh, with size. He proved that you could be a little guy with a big heart. The baseball legend and Greater Binghamton Sports Hall of Famer died in 2016, but his memory and his stories will live on through his book. In Appalachian, James Atherley, News Channel 34. My Life in Blue is available at major online retailers like Amazon, at All About Collectibles in the Oakdale Mall, and of course the gift shop at Niseg Stadium.